Hey you guys, since I showed you how to install bots for Counter-Strike 1.6, I figured I'd do it for Day of Defeat as well, since it's an awesome game and not enough people play it anymore. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Shrike Bots United website. I'll provide a link, and you're going to want to download their bot installer for uh, Day of Defeat. I'll provide a direct link on the screen and in the description, and you're just going to want to go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to double-click the installer, and it's going to give you a little install prompt on uh, which game you want to install it for. You're going to click DoD for Day of Defeat, and then for which format, and I'm guessing you have the Steam version. Uh, so take that off. Now here's the important part. A uh, little quick recap, Steam changed the system that their uh, games used to work on, so, de so the default installation path is no longer valid. So we have to change that, so go ahead and change it to what I have on the screen, and I'll write it out for you. Uh, just to be safe, and once that's uh, written in correctly, you can go ahead and hit install, and then we're good to go. The last thing we need to do before launching the game is uh, set the launch options. So right-click the uh, game in your games list on Steam, and select Properties. Then on the first tab, hit Set Launch Options, and write in exactly what I have on this screen, and that will tell the game to launch with Strikebots. Alright, we're all set, so all you have to do now is launch the game, and once you're in-game, all you have to do is press the plus equal uh, key, which is the one right next to backspace, and you'll get a little menu that uh, pops up uh, with basically controls on how to add or remove bots. So you can go ahead and play around with that and enjoy some offline uh, Day of Defeat. If you like this, go ahead, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, if you have any problems, feel free to write uh, a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.